afortunadamente tenemos nuevos colegas, nuevos hermanos en la banda. Para nosotros es muy importante tener no solamente un, un compañerismo de trabajo, sino una familia. Logramos vincular y conocer a, al baterista, nuevo baterista de Suprema, ¿sí? su nombre es Diego Acevedo. Él es un chico que tiene una forma de tocar la batería muy, muy especial, muy particular. Eh, tiene siempre el ponche que no necesita una banda de rock, ¿no? Sí, que pues para encontrar un baterista para Suprema, si no necesitamos un baterista, necesitamos baterista y, y en Diego lo, lo encontramos hermano nos conocimos con Paul trabajando en un proyecto alterno y como que se creó una conexión chévere me convocaron para grabar y nada aquí estamos aquí estamos dándole con toda la buena energía aparte de eso pues tenemos el nuevo frontman que no es cualquier persona es Gus Monsanto pues es uh, algo así como trabajar con una, un, una estrella de rock latinoamericana. <risa> Pensábamos que en cierto modo el frontman necesitábamos como la guía y, y lo hemos encontrado perfectamente en Guzmán Santos. Sí. I've been a part of some really amazing hard rock and heavy metal bands such as Adagio and Revolution Renaissance. Just to give two examples of bands I've been a part of that have like great works released all over the world. One day I had a very cool inbox from a good friend of mine from Scotland, Mr. Paul Logue, bass player extraordinaire in Eden's Curse. And Paul wrote me about this amazing band from Colombia that was looking for a new singer. And I'm like, man, Colombia? I, I thought it was funny to have like a hard rock from Colombia and he told me man these guys are totally amazing and he sent me the, the the link to a video of a song called no one like you that featured you know Jacob the singer in the poodles for me it took me it took me like 30 seconds to be blown away and think how come a band in Colombia is making such great music better than like 95% of the American or the European counterparts. I was really blown away by the music, by the production, by the video, by you know the band, the band's attitude and look. I thought everything was great. And then Paul put me in touch with Paulie, you know, the bass player in Supremacy. And we were in touch. He was sending me some of the new stuff they were planning on recording. I did some recording back in Brazil. It was it came out pretty cool. And then we took it from there. It's like, hey man, let's 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 move on together. Let's do a new Supremacy record together. I'm really all in and then I came to Bogota to actually work on new music with the guys and you know hang out and so it's it's like 15 days in Bogota working real hard on, on new stuff and videos and new photo shoot and new everything because we want to have like great material for the next record so that we can tour move on and you know go ahead with the new phase for Supremacy.